This evening I have the distinguished pleasure of having some colleagues of mine joining me in the likes of the Deputy Prime Minister for St. Kitts and Nevis, the Honourable Sean K. Richards. I also have the Permanent Secretary with several responsibilities in the capacity this season for culture, who is Christopher Herbert. I have on the far right Mrs. Hanley and Thomas, who in a minute or so you will hear how instrumental they are in giving back to Christmas and Carnival. On my left, of course, I have two members of the St. Kitts and Nevis National Carnival in the likes of Miss John L. Wallins, who is the marketing con uh, coordinator, and of course, Marsha Basso with responsibilities for the Junior Parade. As I said, we're here because individuals such as the two gentlemen I mentioned would have stepped forward as they have done so many years before and have decided once again to give back to St. Kitts, to Christmas and to Carnival. I am in excellent company this evening and I am very pleased to be here. Uh, as was said on my, on my right is the Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Culture, uh, Education and Sports. I typically state at these uh, gatherings that happen to how pleased I am with the activities of the National Carnival Committee, the Sugar Mass 44 Committee. Uh, they have done excellent work thus far and have uh, achieved uh, great strides in coordinating and, and, and structuring the activities of Carnival thus far. But this evening I'm even more pleased uh, to extend my mantra to include the work of these two gentlemen on my very far right. Uh, Mr. Joe Hanley and Winford Thompson, who Thomas. I am told, Thomas. Thomas, who I am told have single-handedly uh, demonstrated our commitment and dedication to the beautification of this uh, historic site here at, at Baker's Corner. Now these gentlemen dip their hands in their own pockets year after year and uh, demonstrate the true spirit of Christmas. Uh, their sacrifice, their selflessness, their altruism truly demonstrates the type of fabric that we are hoping uh, that this year's carnival and Christmas activities will seek to knit and culture in the communities around uh, East Bastille and of course saying it's in general. Uh, we are very pleased uh, that these, these gentlemen have realized that Christmas is not solely about uh, the carnival activities but it is about uh, maintaining that, that culture of selflessness, that culture of, of gift, giving, sharing and community. Not only are the two gentlemen expending their personal funds to decorate and in the Christmas spirit to Baker's Corner, but might I add year after year they've also made several donations with it regards to, in regards to donating shoes to the less fortunate children or families across St. Kitts and they have also chosen to assist in augmenting the beautification and Christmas spirit that was recently installed at the square where the junior parade on the, the, with the assistance of range developments would have installed several Christmas trees and lights and other decorated pieces. I would like to say thank you so very much Mr. Hanley and Mr. Thomas. Um, it is very nice, it is heartwarming to see that we still have citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis who are selfless and I applaud you for what you have been doing. We want to thank Range Development as well for what they have done and we are asking the public to please follow these wonderful role models and please give back to St. Kitts and Nevis. On behalf of the Department of Culture and on behalf of the Government of St. Kitts and Nevis and certainly the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, I say thanks to both gentlemen who have come forward over the last 15 years with this particular gesture. This gesture, as has been described before, is one of selflessness. But apart from being a gesture of selflessness, I think that it helps to create the atmosphere of Christmas here in St. Kitts and Nevis. There are some persons, of course, who may not have uh, the opportunity to have their own Christmas lighting at their homes, be it inside or outside. It, however, doesn't mean uh, that they cannot enjoy such 
in public facilities such as right here at Nicholas Corner, where you have this beautiful and set up. So, gentlemen, indeed, you are helping to spread that joy of Christmas and also helping to get persons into the spirit of carnival which is associated with Christmas here in St. Kitts and Nevis and for that you must be highly commended. My name is Richard Palmer. I've been doing this now for 15 years and I've been proud of doing it. I still intend to more as long as I live I do. Look out for in the square, we're going to put some stuff in the square from tomorrow. It might not be in as good as this one, but it's just the beginning. My name is Joseph Hammond. I love doing this job. And the beauty of it is when the people come from overseas, come to take pictures or come down from the airport to see what we have here in our beautiful country. Let me start by thanking the Honorable Sean K. Richards and Permanent Secretary Mr. Herbert for taking the time out and being here. Thank you Mr. Mills and Marshall Basso for also being here and a hearty thank you to Mr. Henley and Mr. Thomas for their continued contribution to Christmas and Carnival and by extension the people of St. Kitts.